Our God and our Father, we thank you for bringing us to the last day of this lengthened season for the year 2020. Thank you, Lord, for this holy Saturday. We pray the Lord, as we meditate on your word, you will speak to us in clear terms. And Lord, may we recognize that our Lord Jesus holds the authority in heaven and on earth. Let your word bless us this day. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Beloved, we thank God yesterday for the Good Friday where our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ died. And that is where I'll start my exhortation this morning as we look at Matthew chapter 27 and I'll read from verse 50 to 53. They said, And Jesus cried out with a loud voice and yielded up his spirit. Then behold, the veil of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom and the earth quaked. And the rock were split, and the graves were opened. And many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. And coming out of the grave after its resurrection, they went into the holy city and appeared to many. Beloved, this day we commemorate the day that Jesus laid in the tomb the Sabbath day where no one went to see our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ after he was buried because it was the Sabbath day. But from what Jesus told us after his resurrection, we believe that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ conquered death in the grave. As Matthew has recorded that when he died and the veil of the temple was torn, immediately we observed that the graves were opened. No wonder the psalmist in Psalm 24 from verse 7 to 10 to lift up your heads, O ye gates, be lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and let the King of glory come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gate. Lift up you ancient doors, and let the King of glory come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. And Lord Jesus Christ, when he descended on hell, he came forth with glory. And the ancient doors were opened. No wonder, as Matthew recorded, immediately he died, the graves were opened. And it shows that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, by his death, conquered the grave. Revelation chapter 1, verse 18 is very instructive in our meditation for Holy Saturday. It says, I am he who lives and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And I have the keys of hate and of death. This showed us that Jesus Christ conquered death and hold the key of hate and death. Today, he gained authority over the grave. He gained authority over death. No wonder in Matthew chapter 27, verse 18, Jesus said, All authority in heaven and on earth have been given unto me. And today, I want to say to you, every one of us, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, holds the key of hate and death. And no power henceforth we be able to conquer us from death as he has died and became victorious by his death so will every one of us conquer death and reign with Christ eternally holy Saturday to you and see you 
in the morning of resurrection. Let us pray. Bless us, O Lord, and let, O God, this fast birth in us the power of resurrection. Thank you, Lord, for that which you have done for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.